One word that would describe her. Um, Smart. Enthusiastic. Tenacious, dedicated, and caring. <laughs> it's really hard to come up with one word. <laughs> she was very patient and encouraging. She's gracious. Very gracious. In the early 90s, Michigan native Saiga Thorson moved to the Quad Cities with a BA in graphic design and a BFA in a master's in painting. She worked as a graphic designer until she came to Blackhawk College in 1999, where she has been a professor of art for nearly 23 years and is currently serving as department chair for art, design, and performing arts. My husband saw the ad for Blackhawk in the paper back then, and he said, this has you written all over it. The fact that Blackhawk needed someone that could teach fine arts as well as graphic design, I interviewed and apparently they liked me and um, yeah, so that's, that's how I landed here. I didn't really plan to teach. I took a teaching assistantship because that would pay for all my tuition and I received enough money to live on. And so I thought, well, I'll give this a try and actually sort of fell in love with teaching. I remember the first time I was working with a student and she wasn't very confident in terms of her work or her project. And I said, well, let me take a look at it. And I started talking about the strengths in the piece and she just kind of lit up. And that made me feel really good. It was the creative atmosphere of Zyga's upbringing that instilled in her a deep appreciation for the arts and paved the way for her artistic journey. My dad was very musical. He loved to sing. He sang in choirs. Actually, both of my parents did. And he was in theater. My mom, I remember my mom teaching me how to draw. And there was always stuff to draw with. And I think it was a little bit of an escape for me when things got a little bit chaotic at home with three loud, rambunctious brothers that that was sort of my way to retreat and um, kind of create my own little world. I'm definitely an expressive painter. I love watercolors on paper. I love oil paints. Um, I love mixed media. So I'm always experimenting a bit. I've been invited to have a solo exhibition at the Figgy Art Museum that's supposed to open in January of 2023. The show I'm working with right now is Storms and Silver Linings. It's sort of my working title. This larger piece would sort of represent that idea that we all go through storms in life, um, but there, even when you're in a storm of some sort, there's a silver lining. You know, she's honest with people um, about in whatever she's going through. And I think that is really um, humanizing and that makes people connect with her more. Saiga's natural teaching intuitiveness is advantageous in meeting students' individual needs, albeit any physical limitations, art and experience, or self-doubt. She finds great joy in their successes. I was on a search committee once and the candidate asked, well, what do you like most about teaching here? And my response was that once in a while we get to help somebody turn their whole life around. And I don't know what feels any better than that. I care about students. I care about them as people. Um, a lot of our students come here with a lot of hurdles. Um, so if I can help remove some of those hurdles, that's important to me. Hopefully also create a safe environment that students know I'm on their side. Um, I want them to succeed and also that we all hit bumps in the road. And that because you hit a bump in the road, whether it's a project that didn't go so well or something going on in your life that that you keep going you don't give up on it you know don't don't give up on your dream when i first came back to black hawk and decided to change my career i took a digital class with her and through that digital class she wouldn't let me give up on who i was and she really made me realize i had a story 
Every time a student succeeds at something, whether it's a current student or a former student, I'm like, yay, I'm, I'm there cheering them on. Um, and yeah, that's, there's just um, so much joy in, in helping somebody grow a bit. You know, they've got to do the work, but if, if I opened a window or a door for them in some small way and they just go for it, that's, that's the greatest joy. She brings compassion with her in the way that she deals with her students, with faculty, with staff, with everybody around her. And it's something that I've definitely learned from, and I know that strengthens her as an educator, the amount of compassion and empathy that she has for everyone. After years of heartfelt dedication to Black Hawk College and to her students, Zaga will be entering into her well-deserved retirement in June of 2022. I am going to definitely miss the students and the energy and that, but um, I'm excited to be a full-time artist and really focus on my artwork. Um, my husband and I want to do some traveling so we have, he retired in July, so our big happy retirement to us trip will be to Hawaii. I don't know if I'll teach again, I might, but I might do it in a different capacity. And um, just having the freedom to do really what I wanna do. One of my goals is to do an artist residency at a national park. I would also like to perhaps do a residency in Latvia, where my parents were from. Maybe do some volunteer work at places like the Figgy Art Museum. Um, so I'm not going to sit still. <laughs> I have a lot that I, I still want to do. And I'll, I'll come over here and check up on things and come for some of the openings and um, keep in touch. We are all going to miss you so very much. And I hope you know that your legacy is going to live on. I hope that you go on many hikes together with your husband and your dog and um, all of that good stuff. I hope that you keep painting and that you just have a great retirement. Zyga, I will always thank you for being there, for being there for everybody, for being such an inspiration to all these students and a student I once was and the teacher I've now become. As Zyga's artistic journey continues beyond the walls of Black Hawk College, so do the artistic journeys of the many students she has inspired. <laughs>